Welcome, welcome, Andy Factor here. Welcome to well back to Factor the game. Today we are starting Alan Wake. This is a game that I have not touched in a long time, and I mean I finished this game back in 2011. You know we're gonna just play on normal because the goal is. Is a lot of collectibles. We can't play on Nightmare because I don't have Nightmare. Stephen unlocked. King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. So, this is more of a collectibles playthrough, more than a difficulty playthrough. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. Nightmare! I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. No, I refuse to ever play inverted. The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. Mm, ain't going nowhere. So what do I mean by collectibles? Well... There's a lot in this game. The lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. So one of my goals is I want to get all the collectibles that the I can. Bridge had collapsed. I'd have so to like find coffee the thermoses, the there's a hundred of those. Yeah, there's a hundred of those. That's the big thing, really, I'm worried about. He's back. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? Nope. You think you're gone? <gasps> you think you could just make up stuff? Play with people's lives? And kill I'll do what I want. Bah. The game, for the most part, is actually. You really good story. Oh, we do some. Damn. You can't stop me. That wasn't very nice. Ooh, I got drilled. Hold on. You're cheating now. I, I did this on Nightmare before, and I was doing better on normal. What a surprise. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your oppression? Pretty good. I'll pass the tornado. Thank you. Here. This way, 
I made it. There's literally nothing you can do here. So, free throw to panic. The game wants you to do. Okay. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. The game uses light as a huge well, thing every time. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. Hold on. I just fixed that. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? Nope. No. Follow my light. Okay, I'm good at that. Mysterious light being. I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. Mm. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Hey, the light. It's a flashlight, everybody. A flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Now over here you see some cans. Good. You've done well. Thank Remember you. what I've taught you. I that won't. is all. I will give you back your dream now. I don't want it. Terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. So cool about reloading this game, you can press X to go but faster. You wanna go ahead and do that, because those can pyramids are also at a thing you need to collect. You made me this way, and now I'm going to Oh, freak! Oh, freak! That actually scared me. I knew he was there. This is it. Again. You know, game logic. Everybody's a superhero.
And here we get a new weapon. This is the flare gun. Very uh, fun time here. But... I don't want to go that way just yet, do I? Oh, let me see. Let's go ahead and kill these guys. Sorry about that. So I think you can. I screwed this up again. I missed something. No. How do you supposed to even see that? Game? Just be able to, like. There it is. Just go to this bunker that you're not supposed to see. Like, how are you supposed to find that normally without a play, or, like a playthrough? I knew it was there. I just forgot how to. I forgot about it. I had to get in there. Oh, leave you alone. I don't care about you too much. I can keep this up forever. To the White House. Oh, that was very nice, game. I see one more thermos on the distance. Baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Yay! Where are we here?
triple D's. Wait a minute. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you. This oh, game yeah. really has an age well, Sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying, I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you do have a lovely holiday. What a nice man. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got him. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Huh? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Okay. Not much else we can do here. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. And you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Ah, uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. Right. Do me a favor, call. Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. Now that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we run away. This is it. Uh, there is a thermos now. here. I did on my practice point through accident grabbing it. Sorry about that. You're crazy lady. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. 
Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Hmm. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> Even that sounds no. better than your singing. Are you alright? <laughs> splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn punk, you. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah. Mm. Splendid, splendid. It's been a long time gone. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't have to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. Mm. Now, one thing I am doing is waiting a second. The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. I'll be heading back to work as soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. Oh, but I'm not looking. Bye, Mr. Wake. Let's get out of here. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Hmm. That's weird. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Bad man here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Stupid music that could be copyrighted. We don't need this crap. Ah! Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before yeah, it gets dark. Get this, I'm leaving. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Bah! I'm leaving. Bye, Alice. It's kind of funny. You can run all the way back for no reason. Or is there a reason? I mean, there's a reason I'm doing this, actually, isn't there? The cabin obviously got its name from the shape of the island. It looked like a giant bird leg. Alice had mentioned that the lake was a caldera. There was a dormant volcano under it. If you were figuring out how many things you have left... All well, your collectibles, there you go. Press start and find out. Which is pretty crazy. Speaking of which, next time on Alan Wake.
We'll visit the cabin. I'll see you then.